Hello, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for the work that you're doing volunteering in these places of need. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you the technique of EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. It's a very simple technique that you can also share with others very simply that greatly reduces um, PTSD uh, and other trauma related uh, suffering conditions. Uh, so in this video I'm going to show you the basic protocol and in other videos I'm going to show you how you can use this technique more specifically. Uh, after this, after I show you the technique I'm going to explain a little bit more why this technique is so effective but first I'm going to show you the technique so you can come straight to this every time you want to use it. In this example, I'm going to use trauma and suffering as an example, but you can fill in the blanks. Whenever I say trauma and suffering, you can use whatever is going on for you right now, whatever it is that you're seeing, feeling, experiencing in your body, in, uh, in your mind, in your emotional space. So first of all you're going to do a self-assessment so for whatever it is that you're using in this example trauma and suffering you're going to uh, grade it on a scale of 0 to 10 so just tune into it focus on the subject of trauma and suffering and on a scale of 0 to 10 how strongly are you experiencing that right now Whatever number comes to your head is pretty much it. That's what you're going to work with. Try not to analyze why it's that number or anything else. Just go with that number. Then you're going to use this basic protocol. First of all, uh, you're going to be tapping on different places in your body. The first point you're going to be tapping on is what is called the karate chop point. It's here on the side of the hand. If you're going to do a karate chop motion, you can tap like this. You can tap like this. You can tap like this. You can swap hands it doesn't matter if you stay all with one hand if you switch it out same with the points that as you're moving through your body so here we go you're going to repeat this statement or variation of this statement three times even though I am experiencing all this trauma and suffering I fully and completely accept myself even though I am experiencing all this trauma and suffering this is where you would fill in what you're experiencing I fully and completely accept myself. Even though I'm experiencing all this trauma and suffering, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Love and accept is another variation that you can use that's very powerful if you feel comfortable using those words. Now you're going to talk through more about what you're experiencing, starting with tapping on the top of the head. This trauma and suffering, I am seeing this trauma and suffering. I'm experiencing this trauma and suffering. This trauma and suffering is overwhelming. This trauma and suffering makes me feel really sad. This trauma and suffering is overwhelming. This trauma and suffering makes me feel so upset. I feel this trauma and suffering in my body. This trauma and suffering is all around me. I feel trauma and suffering. I see trauma and suffering. This trauma and suffering is everywhere. There's so much trauma and suffering. The whole world is suffering and in trauma. Everyone is suffering in trauma. All those people that I am seeing are suffering and experiencing trauma. You're going to do that two times, moving through those points, top of the head, the inner eye, the outer eye, under the eye, under the nose, under the lip in this crook here, under the collarbone, if you trace your finger down under the collarbone where it meets the breastbone under the armpit there are the those are the points then once you've completed that cycle two times talking and tapping on these points stop and take a nice deep breath focus again on the original statement which was trauma and suffering and assess it again on a scale of 0 to 10, how strongly are you feeling it right now? If the number is above 2 or 3, then you can just go through uh, again those same points. It might make a little bit of a variation. So now it might not be trauma and suffering anymore, it could be uh, suffering and sadness. So whatever comes to your head, you want to work with that. 
So starting again, if it's still trauma and suffering, you could work with that. Or if it's evolved into something else like sadness and suffering, you can work with that. Even though I'm feeling this sadness and suffering, I fully and completely accept myself. Even though I'm feeling and experiencing this sadness and suffering, I fully and completely accept myself. Even though I'm feeling this sadness and suffering, I fully and completely love and accept myself. This sadness and suffering, it's all the way around me. All of this sadness and suffering, trauma, sadness and suffering, sadness and suffering, trauma, sadness and suffering, sadness, 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 trauma and suffering, sadness, 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 sadness and suffering, 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 trauma, sadness and suffering, trauma, 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 sadness, 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 trauma, sadness and suffering. Again, stop and take a nice deep breath. And again, assess where you are feeling that on a scale of uh, zero to 10. If you are beneath if you're just at a zero, one or two, then largely you've been able to neutralize uh, that feeling. If you're still above three, then you just wanna go through it again. You might've noticed in that one that I focused on certain elements and singled it out on a certain point. It doesn't matter what point you do this on. It doesn't matter the order. This is a really great technique because it's quite loose. So you just can kind of uh, instinctively feel what's coming up for you if you want to say sadness 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 trauma 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 suffering 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 sadness 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 and trauma don't want to see sadness and trauma seeing sadness and trauma sadness and trauma everywhere feel powerless with sadness and trauma all this sadness and trauma feeling this powerless and sadness so you can start to mold it whatever is coming up for you as you're talking through it and now I'm going to go through one more time and I'm just going to leave a blank for you to say out loud and all of this should be spoken out loud as I'm doing for you to speak out loud what it is that you are experiencing and tune in again to how it might be changing and sometimes you even have contradictory feelings like you might be feeling sad and you might be feeling happy and you want to include all of those feelings so don't try and push one down in order to stay true to another if you're starting to feel joy you can include that and I'll, I'll do the blank one and then I'll go through an example of that even though I'm feeling all of this I fully and completely love and accept myself even though I'm seeing all of this, I fully and completely accept myself. Even though I'm seeing, feeling and experiencing all of this, I fully and completely accept myself. All of this Just keep talking through what you are experiencing as you follow these points. Stop and take a nice deep breath. And again, assess on a scale of zero to, to 10 how strongly you are experiencing that still. Now I'm gonna show you an example of where you might use uh, contradictory points because particularly as you start working through the trauma you might notice that you organically and not because you're forcing it start feeling and experiencing more positive emotions so you can start to include those or any other 
any other conflicting or seemingly contradicting uh, feelings or emotions. The point is you want to move the conflict out of yourself that you're experiencing all these different conflicting feelings. No one feeling is right or wrong. No one feeling is good or bad. You're bringing neutrality. Even though I'm experiencing this suffering and trauma, but I'm also experiencing hope and joy, I fully and completely accept myself. Even though I'm experiencing this suffering and trauma, but I'm also experiencing hope and joy, I fully and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm experiencing this suffering and trauma, and I'm also experiencing hope and joy, I fully and completely love and accept myself. All of this suffering and trauma, all of this hope and joy, seeing the suffering, seeing the joy, suffering and joy, joy and suffering, pain and suffering, sadness and trauma, joy and hope, joy and hope, pain and suffering, pain and suffering, doing good work, seeing bad things, pain and suffering, joy and hope. And again, stop and take a nice deep breath after two rounds like that. And again, assessing on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the strongest where you are now with how much tra charge there is on an experience. And you can just continue going through that cycle until you bring it down to a really neutral point. It will just either feel okay, or you'll feel okay at leaving it at that point. You might be down to a zero, you might be down for, to a one, or as I mentioned, other things may start coming up. It might start shifting and changing and you just start working with whatever comes up until you ultimately feel okay. Even if you only have a few moments and you can only do maybe a round or two of this, that's going to help you a lot. The purpose of this tool is to take the conflict out of your body mind. I'm going to talk a little bit now why you use this. Hopefully then you'll understand why this is a useful tool and uh, you don't have to necessarily watch it again. It's why I'm putting it at the end of the video. When you're experiencing a uh, strong uh, emotional experiences but you at the same time have to kind of carry on you set up a conflict in your body mind so even though you might be feeling really sad you're putting on a smiling face in order to uh, help the other people around you which is really wonderful but if you don't take some time to acknowledge that you have the other emotions and to work those emotions they get stuck in your system and this is really what begins to cause things like PTSD, addiction or other uh, uh, overthinking, anxiety, other manifestations that show that your system is in conflict. So by talking through this a little bit more on a real-time level what you're going to do is help yourself avoid the suppressive system that starts to create problems later on or even currently as you're going through and I'm going to deal with some of those issues specifically in other videos examples can be you start experiencing more physical pain because your body mind is suppressing emotion down in the body and that starts to show up as pain in the body so if you're working through this ongoingly, then you won't end up with that happening. And what will also happen is that all of your energy is going to be available for you to do the things that you need to do during the day. When you're suppressing, you're actually using up energy, even if you think of uh, putting a smiling face on when you're feeling sad, that's using up energy in your body um, to put the happy face on even though you're feeling sadness at the same time. So by going, putting your system into a non-conflicted state because you're authentically working through all the feelings that you're experiencing at this time, you're going to have more physical energy, you're going to have more mental focus and acuity to do what you need to do. You'll feel more rested when you rest and you'll feel more energized when you're awake. I really, really, um, again, want to thank you for the work that you're doing. The love and the care that you're putting into the world is going to make this world a better place, and I honor you very much. Thank you, and stay tuned.